This is Gene Lance on the Workers Beat Extra. I've got Judy Bryant here today. Judy, how long have you been involved with this retiree movement that's so big in Texas right now? Probably at least the, the 16 years that I have been retired from teaching. Mm -hmm. And uh, that I've been very active because I was the retiree chair of my union, Alliance AFT. And then uh, you introduced me to Texas Alliance for Retired Americans. And so I've been a part of that for 15 years. So as, as long as it's been around, I guess. Right. Exactly. And historically, if you go back, if you go back before that, <laughs> this is like this is like what uh, uh, one of the famous Beatles said about Elvis Presley. He said, "Before Elvis Presley, there was nothing," and we could say that that before Judy Bryant, there really wasn't a retiree movement in Texas worthy of the name. We just didn't have a Texas retiree movement, even though there had been a couple of very brave efforts to organize. When you came aboard, which was must have been 2009 or so, I think, uh, we just barely had one chapter, and that was the one in Dallas. And uh, the board was, was meeting maybe twice a year, and there weren't any activities around the state. And what can you describe now of the situation uh, with the retiree movement in Texas? Well, we have chapters uh, around the state, two in Fort Worth, Dallas, Austin, Houston, San Antonio, Corpus Christi, uh, Beaumont, Port Arthur, Golden Triangle area. And so we have actions going on there all the time in these various places. And I think people are speaking up, retirees are realizing that we all worked 30, 40, some people almost 50 years, and they must come out and protect those things they worked for because we're the ones that are having everything cut. They want to attack us about voting. They want to attack us about our pensions. They want to attack us nationally to cut Social Security and Medicare, all these things we worked for. So if you don't get up off your rocker or your couch and get out there and work, you might find that you are losing some things you spent all those years working for. Mm -hmm. And I, for one, don't like to do that. I so want to get what I work for. So people are realizing that retirees cannot just count on uh, their retiree package that they got when they retired, that, that there is, in fact, a national campaign to take away retiree benefits, all kinds of retiree benefits. That's and uh, right. so that's bringing people out of the woodwork and they're starting to get active with the retiree movement. And your group, the Texas Alliance for Retired Americans, is right there for them. How does, yes. how does somebody join? Yes, that's true. Uh, if you're interested uh, in joining, you can go to our website, which is texasretiredamericans.org. Um, and there's a link that you can uh, do to pay the huge $10 yearly membership fee mm -hmm. and join. Uh, you could contact one of the chapters that's close to you. We still do some meetings on Zoom so people can, can join us that way, going back to some in-person meetings. But I believe we're going to be having hybrid meetings around the state so that people can do either in-person or on Zoom, which is good. Because we face a tremendous challenge with the November upcoming elections because if we don't work and win and elect people who are retiree friendly, then we could lose a lot. There and are there are bills in Congress right now that would sunset Social Security, which means in five years it, it could very well disappear. And uh, and the same thing with true with uh, Medicare and Medicaid. Well, they've never expanded Medicaid in the state of Texas, so. I know a number of Terra folks introduced resolutions about expanding Medicaid at their Democratic County conventions last weekend. Is that right? Because since Medicaid expansion was offered, Texas has solidly refused to do it. And mm -hmm. so 
but that would be important. But your organization has been struggling on that front for a long, long time. I know you've, I know you've got petitions and you've uh, had a number of meetings about it, done some lobbying, and uh, and do a lot of electoral work. So your organization, the Texas Alliance for Retired Americans, can actually endorse candidates. Have you endorsed any this year? Uh, yes, we can. Um... We've endorsed statewide, endorsed Beta O'Rourke for governor. Mm -hmm. We're very proud to do that last week at our, by unanimous vote of our executive board, which was especially important. And then uh, here in the Dallas area, we were very proud to uh, endorse for the third time, State Representative Retta Bowers, who had mm -hmm. a primary opponent, but does not have a general election opponent. So she will be the uh, representative, continue as the representative for District 113. And she, she's a very strong supporter of retiree issues. And your retirees do things like uh, campaign for those people that they've endorsed, like for example, on the telephone. Yes, mm -hmm. we, can, we, we do phone banks reaching out to um, other retirees, retirees calling retirees is the most effective way to reach people and get them to vote. So we work with our national organization to help us set up phone banks to, to call for these uh, candidates. And we will be doing that, uh, starting that very soon. And retirees tend to vote more than any other age group, don't they? Yes. So it makes a big difference what the Texas Alliance for Retired Americans does in this election. and. I want to change to something else because we're running out of time. You mentioned that you're a teacher. And I have noticed that in the Texas Alliance for Retired Americans, there are several teachers in top leadership. Why is that? I think it is because when uh, you're a teacher, uh, you, for one thing, are very flexible. You have to be flexible about everything that happens. and you just naturally tend to have, you have to take a leadership position in your classroom, obviously. And I think a lot, most teachers are always thinking about their students. So retired teachers are thinking about themselves, but other people, and they want to make sure that everybody gets what they have worked for and earned and are just able to respond and do these things. So I'm very proud of that fact. I'm a 41 year member of the uh, Texas American Federation of Teachers and have worked. So we have a lot of folks who are who are either teachers or re retired educators in other ways that work like to clean our buildings, our school buildings, to prepare the food for the kids, all those things, because it takes a team. I think that's the other thing. Teachers are used to being teamwork, team players. And that's what we have to do in Terra. Okay, I've been talking to Texas Alliance for Retired American State Organizer, Judy Bryant, about the retiree movement in Texas. This is Gene Lance on the Workers Beat Extra.